Welcome to Fly Tying with Garrett and Carson. Um, we are from Patch Fly Tying class with, with Zach. And Garrett, what type of fly will you be making? I'll be making a dragonfly today, Carson. Okay. What materials will we use for the dragonfly? I'll be using green yarn, hackle, and two wings. Where did the hackle come from? Hackle came from diff like different kinds of birds, yeah. such as quail, chickens, roosters, anything. Alright, what is the first step to making the dragonfly? The first step is you put your hook in the holder, make it real tight so it doesn't fall out. Okay, what is the next step? You'll take it. I like to start mine at the back. Some people start it at the middle, front, start it, wrap it all the way up. How many up. times do you think it takes to wrap? Eh, about 10, 12. And you want to make it a good wrap. Take it all the way back where you began. And take it back up to the middle. Then you'll take your scissors, cut that, cut that, and then pull this over. So where it holds with the fly. All so right. About right there. What's your next step? My next step, step will be, I'll be taking this green yarn and wrapping it for the body. So. What do you do after that? I'll be taking the dragonfly feathers and doing that. And it usually takes me not very long to tie the flies, maybe a minute, three minutes, around in there, and go back up to the beginning. And you want to take these two feathers, cross them together, and put them like this, and put it right in the middle of the body. Okay, what kind of feathers are they? Those are chicken, chicken feathers. And for these, so you want to get them the good to stick out. You want to cross over, cross back, cross over, cross back. And then you can switch that. So kind of like figure eight. Yes, basically like feather, figure eights. And you want to take it and wrap it in the middle. Pull it all back, wrap it, spread them apart, and there you go. Now what do you use the hackle? The hackle is to make the body look like the actual bug where it sticks out. See, after you're done with that, there's feathers sticking everywhere. You just want to snip them off. Kind of fishy catch for the... Oh, you can catch bass. Maybe sometimes, if you're really good, if they're in a good place, sometimes musky or pike. But mostly bass, sometimes bluegill, crappie. Not very many times will someone catch it with catfish. Probably carp, maybe, too. And then, next step, I'll be taking this right here, this hackle, and wrapping it around to look like a bug's body. So after you wrap your hackle around the fish and hook, what do you do next? After I wrap my ha hackle, I'll take this, cut some of the excess hair of it off, make sure I don't cut any of the string while I'm doing that, and you always want your eye of the hook to be clear, so when you're, when you're putting on your line, if you, like, say if I take all this and just put it all over my hook, I can't even get to my hook, so I can't be able to tie that on my line to be able to fish. And then, as my next step, I'll take this and tie it like that. You take your two fingers and you cross them over. Like, take these, like you're doing a peace sign. Go like that. Let it just dangle. Twist like this, cross over, and tie it on.
I'm kind of not really. Those are polymorph nuts. And you do you want to do this about three or four times. Okay, Garrett, after the not them, what do you do next? I will be putting, I will be clipping some excess hair off. Okay. Because I'm about done with the fly. And you can tie it like I just done with the two fingers. Like that. Or you can take this tool right here and tie it. You take it. Wrap that, that around. Sometimes it pops off. A little complicated to work. Yeah, for beginners it's a little bit complicated, but most time it ain't. But if this thing does, if it wants to cooperate, I guess it would be. But would you rather would, use your fingers or that tool? I would rather, personally, I would rather use my fingers. It's a whole lot quicker. But it doesn't make as nice and knots when you get it. You want to take it and you wrap it around. Ah, man. Thing doesn't want to do it. Harder than it looks? Well, it's mostly easy. But this time it ain't doing very good. So, well, I guess time or next time I'll show you guys. But that's it for today. What was your favorite part about the project? My favorite part is that I can take this fly and go fishing with it, catch some fish. And then after you're done with that, you can just take that, cut the line off, and there you go. All right, thank you for watching. This show has been sponsored by AMM Digitals and Technology.